Revelation 850. From the 5th of April 1939. Sensual intoxication. Procreation. Purpose. What people resist the most is the acceptance of the teachings of a moral way of life, by which is to be understood a renunciation of any bodily sensual intoxication, which does not have as prerequisite, the will to awaken a new life. This urge is so strongly developed to be able to test the greatest will to resist, but very few people fight against this desire of the flesh. They give in to the bodily urge and seek perpetual satisfaction and thereby do so much harm to their soul, for they can no longer engage in pure spiritual activity, where the will to overcome this desire is so weakened. The quite natural process in the procreation of man is connected by the divine creator in wisest insight with physical well-being, in order to cause him again and again to procreate and to give the souls waiting for embodiment thereby opportunity to step into earthly existence. This is the sole purpose of the union of man and woman, and should be well considered, and by strict restraint and self-mortification, any sensual intoxication should be controlled as far as possible. Instead of this, one tries to avoid the greatest earthly task and gives oneself without limits only to the bodily desires, even to let these soon become the mainspring of life and thereby to prepare an insurmountable obstacle for the soul, which does not let it find the way to the height. It is held to the earth by this bodily desire and cannot lift itself upward by its own strength, again and again it sinks back and has to struggle immeasurably through the drive of the body for the fulfillment of its desire. The organs of man do not absolutely need the desire to be satisfied, but man can very well educate himself to abstinence and overcoming his desires, because the desire increases the more it is satisfied and can also be tamed in the same measure, if the will is strong and man is aware of what damage he causes to the soul when the body is completely satisfied. But people do not want to accept this, they do not want to impose any restriction on themselves and therefore age against their own soul in order not to let the body live in want, and the actual purpose of their body, to beget more humans, they completely disregard, thereby not only harming themselves, but at the same time denying the souls wanting to embody themselves, the entrance into the human body and thus prevent the new birth. Amen.